How to check the timer in a Whirlpool 29-inch electric dryer. To check the timer, you will need to have a multimeter and know how to use it. Make sure you read the instructions that came with the multimeter to learn how to use it. Disconnect the dryer from the wall outlet. We don't need electricity for this test. Remove the cover of the controls panel to gain access to the timer. Set your multimeter on the lower scale to read ohms and turn it on. Make sure your multimeter is in good working order before using it. The reading should be close to zero ohms when the test probes touch each other. Set the timer on the beginning of the cycle that you use most of the times. You will need to remove this black wire from the timer. Go ahead and remove it. And take a reading between the terminal mark BK and the blue wire below it. Take readings with the timer in different positions. The readings should be close to zero ohms, meaning that there is continuity between the BK and BU terminals in the timer. If any of the readings are infinity, the timer is bad and it must be replaced. You will need to take a reading between the terminals of the white and tan wires. Remove the wire harness with the white and tan wires. With the timer still in the lower scale to read ohms, take a reading between the terminals of the white and tan wires in the timer. The reading should be close to zero ohms, meaning that there's continuity between these two terminals. If the reading is infinity, the timer is bad and must be replaced. Let me show you how to replace the timer. The first thing that you need to do before disconnecting the wires from the timer is to take a few pictures with your cell phone of the location of the wires in the timer. So you could use the pictures for reference when installing a new timer. Go ahead and start removing the wires. Now remove the two screws that hold the timer in place. Remove the timer knob and remove the timer. Now you're ready to install the new timer. Set the new timer in place and secure it with the two holding screws. Now you will start connecting the wires, making sure that the wires are nice and tight on the terminals. Install the timer knob on the timer and install the back cover on the controls panel. 